巧的。<笑>
as proven that part of the world prosperous world, which drew dialogue and cooperation, not through the first of the foreign policy approach that infringed upon the affairs of other countries and so the series of the future. Attention inward to ex meeting the money security and humanitarian and development challenges which the international community has invested so much rather than involving itself into affairs of other suffering nations like Somaliland and Taiwan. The government of Somaliland wants to reiterate. The government of Somaliland wants to reiterate that this financial relationship between Somaliland and Taiwan is based on reciprocal, on our shared values of democracy, freedom, rule of law, and justice. It's a special and historic relationship between the two champions of democracies in Africa and Asia. On the other hand, I want to also highlight Somaliland potentialities, particularly areas of investment to the business community who might be here today. So Maryland is promoting and encouraging international investment. We want to increase exports while fulfilling the national demand. So Maryland has traditional areas of economic activity for exporting which can be invested and developed further by making them more competitive. But we also equally encouraging the new entrepreneur spirit and innovation. In order to achieve this, the government is seeking to encourage investors through incentives including tax, exemptions, and land leasing. In the mining sector, Somalia has huge potential for foreign investment, including hydrocarbon deposits, deposits, oil and gas, as well as coal, which can be easily exploited based on its surface and sure Geological data gathering carried out during the past few years. There are encouraging indications, including onshore and offshore oil seeps, showing favorable conditions for hydrocarbon to have accumulated in numerous large 34 blocks and sulfur seeds. Recent seismic surveys which indicate potential oil and gas deposits in the country. There is also a need to establish more thriving tourism industry ventures in the country, particularly eco-tourism, where visitors can encourage to explore Asian caves, beautiful beaches, mountains and mountains, and spectacular landscapes in the country. The tourism sector is therefore another area in the economy that has large potential for foreign and domestic investors. The potential mineral resources, fishing, forestry, agriculture, and tourism opportunities of the mountain regions are yet resources in Somalia, choose stones and industrial minerals, as well as plenty of other rare minerals, which are only found in few places in the world. Somalia and Prosperity commend Taiwan for authenticating the strength of its democratic system and capitalizing its free market economy. Our two countries are members of the same community of democracies bounded by our shared political and economic freedoms, as well as international values. Somalia and Taiwan relationship will remain intact. Thank you very much. Thank you, Representative. Please welcome Minister Wu to deliver a speech.
I want to extend my gratitude and congratulations to Mohammed for making this ceremony possible. On August 17th, when I witnessed the opening ceremony of the Panama Representative Office in San Marilyn, you joined us by video conference while you were in self-quarantine. Now, three weeks later, we are attending the opening ceremony of the Samaritan office in Taiwan together. This would not have been possible without your determination and tireless dedication. Our countries have collaborated on healthcare, education, and maritime security since 2009. The opening of the Samaritan representative office marks a new chapter in taiwan samaritan relations. We now look forward to exploring common interests and mutual benefits in fields such as fishery, energy, agriculture, and others. Taiwan and Samaria share the commitment to safeguarding the values of freedom, democracy, justice, and the rule of law. We both face external pressures, but are both proud of our sovereignty and ready to defend it. Taiwan is ready to work closely with a like-minded partner in the Horn of Africa. I want to once again express my heartfelt welcome to you and your family. From now on, Mohammed, Taiwan is your second home and your home away from home. I wish our countries continued success and prosperity and the best health and happiness to everyone here here today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kalu. Please remain on stage. Now, we would like to invite Minister Wu and Representative Muhammad to move forward to unveil the office plan together. Let's do the final countdown together for the historical moment. Three, two, one. Thank you, Minister Wu and Representative Mohammed. Thank you. Please be seated. Next, we would like to share a congratulatory video from His Excellency, President of Somalia, which will today be being received. We want to you all. Today, I'm very pleased to welcome and congratulate the government of Taiwan for official accept to open our representative office in your country today, 9th September 2020. With the global economy shifting on the whole of Africa, the very soon and the Gulf of Aden are becoming a focal point of international interest. We believe that it is time for Somalia to initiate a vote to strengthen relations in the areas of common interest that will promote bilateral trade and economic cooperation among peoples with your country and all our relations in the world. The bilateral accord of our two countries is based on our common values of freedom and democracy. It's a split of mutual assistance that will never expose any harm whatsoever to the interests of other countries but rather 
for the good international peace and regional economic activities. The goal that the Ryan is pursuing is to attain a better democracy in both economic development and to save that national peace. Moreover, our country promotes universal peace and fosters better relations with our neighbors, the rest of the African nations and the world at large. Our two countries are members of the same community of democracy, bonded by our shared political and economic freedoms as well as international values. I do expect that our relationship and our representative office respectfully will enable us to bolster our future economic, terrain and environmental cooperation. Thank you all. Thank you all for your participation in today's event. We wish all the best of health and happiness. The opening ceremony has now concluded. Refreshments are available. Please enjoy.
Now, please welcome Representative Muhammad for the opening remarks. Good morning, everyone. At the outset, Honorable Minister Wu, the Foreign Minister of the Republic of China, Taiwan, allow me to thank Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us in this historic event. The opening ceremony of the Republic of Somaliland represents. Ha, ha, ha. 